What's up guys, welcome back to another Cole's Cars video. Listen to that baby purr. But today, in this video, we'll be going over five reasons why you shouldn't buy the Mustang or five reasons I particularly don't like the, the EcoBoost Mustang. They are pretty like nitpicky things. So overall, I uh, love the car, but just there's some things that I would change about it. First thing is there's no top end power low it's awesome like getting off the jump like right here it's awesome but you get to top end and it just lacks i don't know what ford did with the four cylinder turbo that it has in it but it just really lacks top end power of especially with it having a turbo i think it like spool and hold power but apparently not second thing is sound uh, the exhaust sucks <laughs> Um, I mean, but what are you gonna get with a four-cylinder Mustang? The exhaust note is gonna be terrible no matter what. It's gonna sound like a fart machine No matter what there's some added sounds in the speakers that Ford put in for who knows what reason But no matter what you do you upgrade the exhaust do whatever get a new exhaust It's always gonna sound like complete basically Moving on to another reason that I'm not a particular fan of this is just my personal liking. There's different trim levels. If you're gonna get a Mustang, get the GT. I mean, price-wise, this is the best route to go and that's sort of where I fall in is the price range. And also insurance, I couldn't get insurance for a GT, so this is perfectly fine. But um, if you're going for a Mustang, get the GT. It's just power is there. You can do any modifications you want to. To the GT and that brings me into another point you're really limited limited on modifications with this engine it already has a turbo of course you can do a bigger turbo but in a tune but it's just really limited compared to the 5.0 you can do whatever you want basically to the Coyotes and they will take it and moving on to our last point is heat soak or uh, after a while it basically loses power um, the engine gets hot um, I guess that's typical with a four-cylinder Mustang what's up Mustang there we go I think there's another eco boost but yeah it really lacks power after you're driving for longer than 30 minutes <laughs> basically um, and it's not significant but you definitely notice it and it's something that I think Ford could have done better with with a bigger radiator knowing that they were putting a four cylinder in here. And I just think it's something that kind of bugs me. But overall, those are really the five things that bug me on this car. And it's it's really nitpicky stuff. It's not stuff that really is a big deal. But my main thing is, if you're gonna get a Mustang, don't get an EcoBoost, get a GT. And yeah, overall, I love this car. It, I've had it for a year or so and it's awesome. It's everything I want <laughs> Basically until I get a GT. So yeah, thank you for watching so much. Hopefully There's weren't too many bad things if you're in my situation You're young and you want an entry-level Mustang 
this is probably the route to go with an EcoBoost, but yeah guys, I love the car. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.